we have made it to Los Alamos, New Mexico, the home of the nuclear A-bomb. And this building behind me was Robert Oppenheimer's house from 1943 to 1945 while he uh, worked on the uh, atomic bomb system. And uh, this whole town is basically still, the National Lab is still here. So it's very uh, heavily influenced by the uh, the uh, atomic bomb and the history that goes along with it. So let's take a tour around this area and we'll show you some things uh, in this nice little park and the town. Just sort of walk around the outside. This is the carport. It's a nice old army vehicle in here. Don't know if he actually drove that, but that's definitely, oh, it's a Plymouth. Yep. That was a Plymouth. Very basic as any army vehicles ours and still are but yep it's probably you for parades and things now I'm sure two-star general and then we'll walk around out here in a minute and look at the outside more of the back it's a mixture of like a log texture and rock so as you can tell it's oh, about to fall down the snow but it did snow here and uh, this whole area is now a dedicated park system so we'll walk around over here and this is right across from the harvest host bathtub row brewery because there's my bus parked in the back and we'll show more of that later on also but yeah this is a the old oppenheimer house Let's back up a bit and see the style i like the three chimneys on top those are pretty cool and the pictures that are in here don't uh, show the trees because that's been you know 70 80 years ago so let's get over here there's an interesting sign i've never seen one like this dog training and voice control area dogs are permitted off lead in this park only with voice control Huh, interesting. If not, leash your dog. I got us a crow or a raven up there squawking. This is the Los Alamos. History Museum. Built 1931. This is built after the other house that was here burned down. So this is the replacement on the other sign. The Nobel Prize winning chemist lived here for a couple of years or a year or so. So we'll see if we can kind of look around here. This old kitchen, love these old stoves. 
I'm sure that refrigerator was lead lined. No coffee makers. Look at that. I remember those growing up. And the radios. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like the mixture. Look at there. Canned drinking water. Dogs not allowed. Some things along the way. Hitching rail. Yep, you tie horses up to it. This was an old, I believe, a Pueblo. Here's some information about the bathtub row. You can pause it and read it if you like. And if you read about the bathtub row, these row of houses were the only houses in town that uh, had bathtubs in them. The bathtubs were made with cast iron, which were used for the war effort. So it was a highly sought after commodity. Most had showers and things, but so this was known as bathtub row, this group of houses that are on this uh, area. But this is a, an old Pueblo, I believe of some sort. Or they're, I'm not for sure it's original. We'll find out in the sign over here in a minute. We'll find out about the big house. I think we'll be walking over that way in a few minutes. And there's another picture on the back of this building. We're going to walk around over here. And see what this sign says about this area we're in. Yeah, Ancestral Pueblo site. In the 1200s, the Tawi speaking people who may have come to Mesa Verde or Chaco Canyon built structures with blocks and tough weed volcanic ash. This building was two stories high. So, interesting, yeah. So this was actually a Indian site, Pueblo site from the 1200s. I'm sure it's been kind of maintained and rebuilt some because most likely would it be falling apart, but it's still pretty cool to see something that old right here. And there's the pup. I got him tied up to a post because he won't leave me alone. But we'll go walk around a little further. Pretty nice area, a little cool today, got lots of snow on the ground, but here's Errors of History, Los Alamos. This is a pretty interesting town, the whole area is. All right, 
somebody was cutting some wood over there, but <laughs> yeah, whole area. So we're gonna walk around some more here and see what we got. Gardens and keep the deer from eating everything up. This way, come here. And there are walking tours that you can take, guided tours through here. And a really nice park on the other side. We'll work our way over that way, but. I think this is the big house. It's like an old dormitory and offices and just now it's like a meeting hall and different things. So it's a pretty, pretty neat place. I've been in there once before. So we'll work our way over there. We made it into the art, art museum. I think my daughter had some pictures in here somewhere. I have to ask her when I see her today. Some of the here's some of the structure around the building. We've got big logs. This is all wood log construction. Let's see if I can peek my head in here and look around here a second. This is known as the historic Fuller House, and it's been added on to since then. Looks like. Pretty impressive. It's got a conference room, the meeting rooms, and more information of the lodge. There's a picture of Oppenheimer. known as the Alamos Ranch School. Final graduation was 1943, and then I think the government took it over or something here. Here's the kitchen. Of course, the kitchen's been modernized a little bit. Yep. I'm back this way, buddy. We can't get the dog in the kitchen. I'm not for sure if the dogs are supposed to be in here, but shh, don't tell anybody. This is the building of the lodge. Built 1928. Pretty nice, pretty, very dense. I guess all the logs make it really kind of a, like a dark feel to it, but kind of cool. There's some of the kids that graduated. All right, come here, pup. Let's go this way. And the original lodge construction looks like these ends of the building were added on later because the uh, fireplaces ended right at the end of the wood and now this building on both sides it's like that's art museum on this side and i know there's a regular museum on the other let's walk up here and look at a statue of mr oppenheimer and Famous general. And here we are, some bronze statues of 
Robert Oppenheimer and General Leslie. I'm not sure of their actual size, but <laughs> if they are, they're huge guys. They were. Anyway, he was the one in charge of the Manhattan Project, and of course, this is Oppenheimer that uh, you know kind of started it all. But yeah, there's even this whole town is there's nothing. Um, you know, they they create their fr their fame off of the the nuclear bomb, the nuclear history of this. Uh, there's Oppenheimer. They have a play in high school for Oppenheimer about his life. And then even the local brewery where I'm staying down there have a beer named after him called the Hoppenheimer. So, and there's atomic transit and the atomic this and atomic that. So, yeah, this is just a little information of the uh, history behind, uh, you know, good things and bad things. Here's the park downtown with the water feature. We'll walk around and see. This is nice. I've been here a couple times. And nice park system. Got a lot of things blowing off these. Um, look at that. Let me get a little closer here. Blowing off these cattails. Little fuzzies are blown off of them. Oh, we got some geese. Here's a water, it's like a water feature. Let's get the dog up here. Here, go up here, pup. Come on, up here. Got another, got a raven up there. I think he wants a drink. Want to get a drink? Can you get down in there? There you go. He had to work at it, but he made it. There he goes. Bark at him. Oh, there goes geese. <laughs> Pigeons on top of the sculpture. They got their Christmas lights up, so it won't be long that we turn them on. day and old glory standing straight out but down here they have concerts and outdoor events in the park
And we're getting ready to end the video. Just want a clarification. The uh, one placard I showed of the big house, which is actually not there anymore. The picture that's on the back of the building is where the big house used to be. Uh, I guess I should read everything before I comment on it. But the big house was uh, a dormitory for students for many, many years for the ranch uh, school that was here. And uh, the big house was torn down in 1948 by the Atomic Energy Commission and made uh, into a civic center. And now that was torn down and now it's a shopping center. So, uh, you know, I kind of like history and it'd be nice if all the buildings would stay around, but I guess progress has to go on. So we're standing here in front of Oppenheimer's house right there. So a little bit of history is still left around. So we're going to end the video. The next video, we're going to uh, a little bit more of the town of Los Alamos, New Mexico, and then working our way uh, towards Quartzsite. So thanks everybody for watching.